are these people? But I did want to point out one thing that the team that the Teamsters actually did okay with. But it also ties into this whole Amazon Teamsters thing. You know, the Teamsters have offered all kinds of support to Amazon Labor Union, and they claim that they're asking nothing in return. But do we really believe that? Do we really believe that forever there'll be no ask of anything in return? Reef? What? No, of course not. <laughs> why why no. should we ever ask for fucking things? The reason why I you say know? that is I found this, again, while I was searching. Um, actually, I found this through... <laughs> Here's another story. We did an article a few months back uh, about a, an aggregator labor site called laborunionnews.com. And about a, about a month ago, about a month ago, the guy who runs that website reached out to me. His name is Peter List. Turns out he was a former union mm. buster. He said, as it turns yeah. out, the article that Mike wrote was Allegedly. really kind of a smear piece. And that's not what I'm doing. I'm really trying to aggregate all sides of it. And I'll give you, and I was offering Mike, a free premium paid membership so you can see all the articles that I curate and aggregate and that I'm not pushing any one agenda or the other. Okay. So I've been reading these things as it, you know, as he publishes them and going through and he'll post 50 or 60 articles. He posts people that are hiring at different unions and it it's a pretty decent aggregator, I have to, I have to say, for a paid one, I mean, I would make it probably free, but I understand people's time is worth something. But I found this in his paid pretty, section. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I found that in his paid section, and I want to give credit where credit's due, because he turned me around a little bit, on in this case at least, because he found this one, that Amazon drivers are striking over labor violations at Skokie Station in Illinois, all right? And they're doing it oh, with, he help, with help from the Teamsters. Okay, of course. After, after Amazon drivers in Skokie went on strike last month over alleged violations of federal labor laws, more than a dozen members of Illinois' congressional delegation have demanded the company refrain from union busting tactics. Again, with a strongly worded I'm letter. Sorry, where? Illinois. Where? Skokie. Where? where? Uh, sorry, what? you are mispronouncing that state. You know you are. Oh. Illinois. Near you. Illinois. 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 <laughs> <laughs> A group of 104 drivers <laughs> organized with Teamsters Local 705 <laughs> have called for Amazon to, reor to recognize the union and negotiate a contract. Yeah, Amazon's good at not recognizing unions and stonewalling negotiating contracts. The drivers are employed by contractor Four Star Express Delivery, and they claim Amazon retaliated against their organizing efforts by terminating the contractor's agreement. Quote, every Amazon driver knows who our true employer is, striking driver Lu Giancato said in a statement. We wear their uniforms and drive their trucks. They decide whether we can be hired or fired. We make them their profits, and we organize a union with the Teamsters for our fair share. And got fired for it. Okay. Thanks, Sean O'Brien. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's your Work fair share. Workers showed up at Amazon's DIL-7 facility in Skokie with what they said was documentation showing a majority of them were in favor of joining the union, according to video from the Teamsters. No, we don't accept mm. that, one of the managers says. Organizers uh -huh. demanded $30 an hour, 40 hours of guaranteed work, and better benefits. Currently, they're paid about $20 an hour, are rarely scheduled for a full work week, and have expensive and low-quality health insurance, according to the Teamsters. The negative emotions that Amazon preys on, fear, isolation, manipulation, an organizer tells striking workers in that video, we exist above with that pride, dignity, and honor. We, we exist above that, uh-huh. Well, we try to. Um... But they're making it hard when they get rid of the I people swear that, that's are, like, that are existing above that. It, this reminds me of that Michael Jackson song. Free isolation, manipulation. Beep, 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 beep. Anyway, just my brain's dumb. My apologies. On, on Tuesday, mm. U.S. Reps Jan Schakowsky. <laughs> they don't really care about us. That's, that's Michael Jackson? 
Okay. I think. Anyway, on Tuesday, U.S. reps Jan Schakowsky, Chewy Garcia, and Nikki Budzinski sent a letter to Amazon CEO Andy Jassy about reports of intimidation and retaliation against the Skokie workers. They were joined by 10 other members of Congress, every House Democrat from Illinois other than Brad Schneider. Why wouldn't Mm, anyone else from Congress join that letter to... Well, it's not my state, so why should I give a shit? As if there weren't fucking Amazon facilities in every state around the country. Are you fucking kidding me? Also, how did we pass up Chewy Garcia, the best Ben and Jerry's flavor that hasn't been invented yet? Chewy Chewy Garcia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chewy Garcia. Unfair labor practices Um, level... Unfair labor practice charges (laughs) leveled against Amazon include... Allegations that the company terminated employees for organizing, surveilled union activities, implemented a hiring freeze in response to unionization efforts, suppressed pro-union speech on message boards, pretextually altered employment terms to limit union activity, and sought to permanently close the facility in response to union organizing, according to the letter. This week's letter from most of Illinois... Uh, Congressional Democrats follows another oversight letter sent to Amazon last month by a bipartisan group of senators following up on another one in February. Amazon doesn't give a fuck, folks. The Senate has not received a serious response, according to the letter, which described Amazon's responses as insufficient so far and will continue to be because they're buying all you motherfuckers. Joukowsky, Garcia, and Budzinski's letter noted that this is not the first time the world's largest e-commerce company has been accused of violating the 1935 labor law that still governs unionization efforts in the United States. Union busting is disgusting. Amazon has now been accused of several serious breaches of the NLRA. Thank you. And I didn't even know it. You didn't know it. But Amazon has now been accused of several serious breaches of the NLRA in recent years. And as you're aware, an an NLRB administrative law judge recently ruled that you broke federal labor law with your public comments regarding increased union efforts by Amazon workers and advised that you should avoid threatening your employees with similar comments in the future. Advised. In accordance with that ruling and advice, Amazon... You violated the law. Basically, Amazon was ordered to notify employees at its facilities that the NLRB has found that it violated federal federal labor law. And they did so very tepidly. The members of Congress asked Amazon to respond by July 15th, which they might if they feel like it, because nothing will happen to them if they don't. Yeah. As members of the Illinois delegation, we are committed to ensuring that the Amazon that Amazon respects the rights of its workers. <laughs> including its DSP Uh drivers in Skokie. We ask for your commitment to refrain from threats of intimidation and retaliation as DSP drivers exercise their rights to organize a union. Or what? And if they're going to get the Boeing guy to show up. And if they so choose (laughs) bargain collectively to negotiate in good faith Uh, to secure improvements in their wages and working conditions uh, with, with ice cream and rainbows and, Unicorns, too. That's what Congress is basically begging Amazon to do. An Amazon spokesperson issued a statement to reporters on, after last week's action. This protest was initiated and has been attended by mostly outside organizers and individuals who don't work for Amazon and has no impact on our operations or our ability to deliver for customers. Because it's all about operations and ability to deliver for customers. Forget about the people who actually do work there. Four Star Express Delivery is an independently owned company that voluntarily closed its business on May 30th and no longer delivers for Mm -hmm. Amazon. Yeah, they voluntarily closed because you cut the contract that was keeping them in business. According to the layoff notice provided to state commerce regulators, Four Star Express Delivery LLC with an address listed in Skokie, announced that it would lay off 104 workers on June 25th after providing two weeks' notice. Its stated reason, lost contract. Owner Jerry Maros told workers the company's 
that has lost its principal client in the first week of June in an unforeseeable development after a majority of workers signed union cards. Huh. How about that? Teamsters president, that? Sean O'Brien, said Amazon responded to workers by exercising their right to organize with bullying and law-breaking and that the company's delivery service provider, or DSP, program was exploitative, which it is. He says, but Amazon drivers in Skokie refused to be intimidated by the white-collar criminals running this company. Like you? You're a white-collar criminal, Sean. Mm -hmm. The Teamsters Union... Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. The Teamsters Union appreciates the support of elected officials who are showing real backbone against corporate America by standing with these brave workers. <laughs> No, no not, not Chris. No, not Chris. Oh. <laughs> Other Amazon drivers organized no. with Teamsters have picketed more than 30 Amazon warehouses in an ongoing unfair labor practice strike, according to the union. And last month, Amazon warehouse workers, as we covered at the company's JFK 8 facility in Staten Island, voted to join the Teamsters with more than 98% of the ballots. Listen to that uh -huh. shit. Yeah, 98% uh -huh. out of a total. What's up with that? What's, What's up, up with that? that? Well, first of all, it wasn't 5,500 workers there. 10% of the fucking workforce voted. They didn't tell anybody. They gave yeah. nobody time to look at this thing. They gave nobody time to vote. What's up with that? What's, What's up, with, up that? with that? All right. <laughs> 5,500 workers there will become oh. members of a newly chartered, the newly, newly chartered Amazon Labor Union IBT or ALU IBT Local 1. Are you fucking kidding me? Thank you. I work for one of the richest men in the world, and I've had to skip meals to make sure my child eats and my bills are paid. Ebony Echeverria, one of the striking Skokie drivers, said, that just ain't right. Oh, God. Amazon stock oh. last month, by the way, hit a stock market valuation in, in excess of $2 trillion for the first time. Thank you, founder Jeffrey Bezos, mm -hmm. who announced last year he was moving from Seattle what to Miami. Say, welcome. Okay, this week disclosed plans to sell five billion worth in stock of stock in the company to bring his total windfall this year for offloading the record high stock to thirteen and a half billion dollars in twenty twenty four. Oh. And we're fighting for scraps when this motherfucker's cashing out thirteen and a half billion this year. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? What's up with that? Kill your agorist. <laughs> what's up with that? What's up with that? I don't yeah. know what's up with that. Um there's a clap for that. KYE, the Teamsters of the 90s backed my decision to seek out the best backdoor way before the internet ways, Back. the internet days, well start uh, of 1993. Um, Backdoor? Hey uh, now. Phrasing? Seriously. Um, crumbs is right. That's what they're trying to do is make us happy with crumbs. Please feel free uh, to help us out and drop us a couple of bucks over there at a couple of different ways to do it. Cash app, Patreon, PayPal, Rumble. We even get tips over on Rockfin. Um, Kofi, you see the QR code. You can hold up your cell phone and scan that with your phone app. Hold up the phone. It'll bring up a, a URL. You tap is it. There. Not for Greta. Come on, man. If we can save the banks, if then we can save the world. I swear that's got to be AI. That's got to be AI. <laughs> he did not really say that. No. He did not really say that. No. 